everyone, it's Miss Sangdi. I hope you guys are all staying super um, safe and healthy, and I can't wait until the day that we all see each other again. So today I'm going to read the book, You Are My Friend, written by Amy Reed, and it's illustrated by Matt Fellon. You Are My Friend the story of Mr. Rogers and his neighborhood. In the springtime, when everything was growing and green, Freddie Rogers had to stay inside. Flowers made him sniffle, plants made him sneeze. Freddie had allergies, Freddie had other illnesses too. He spent many days in bed. Sometimes he had to stay inside for weeks at a time. Often, when Freddy felt sad or mad, lonely or scared, he kept his feelings inside, but he wanted someone to know how he felt. Freddy found that he could talk about his feelings with puppets. He gathered them around him on his bed. That way, it seemed as though he was with a whole group of friends. When Freddy went to school, sometimes he was bullied. Neighborhood boys yelled mean words at him as they chased him down the street. Grown-ups told Freddy to pretend the mean words didn't hurt, but they did. Hiding his feelings didn't work. They just grew stronger. Sometimes, when he was all alone, Freddy cried. Freddie found it difficult to speak about his feelings, but he learned he could express them on the piano. If he was angry, he played loud, low notes that sounded like thunder. He played high, sweet notes for happiness. Freddie felt better after he shared his feelings through his music. Freddie's mother gave him a way to deal with his worried feelings. She told him to look for people who were helping. Freddie began to look for helpers right in his neighborhood. He liked to visit Mama Belle Fra Frampton. She welcomed him and showed him how to make toast sticks all by himself. Freddie liked the good feeling of learning something new from his neighbor. Fred's grandfather, McFeely, was an gr important friend. Fred loved to visit his grandparents' farm with its big stone wall. One day, Fred went into the room where all the adults were talking. No one looked his way. Fred asked if he could walk on the big stone wall. Then everyone looked his way. Most of the grown-ups said, no, you might get hurt. But Grandpa McFeely said, yes. Fred climbed and walked and then even ran on the wall. When at last Fred came back inside, he had a skinned knee, but he was happy. His grandpa told Fred that he liked him just the way he was. He said Fred was special and that just by being himself, Fred made that day special too. Fred let those words sink deep inside of him. As he thought about them, he felt braver. He began to speak up. He tried new things. He reached out and made friends, even with people who weren't like him. One day, when Fred was grown up, he saw a television program. People were throwing pies in each other's faces. Fred did not like the pie throwing, but he thought television could be wonderful. What if, instead of showing people fighting, TV could show people helping one another? Right then, Fred decided that what, we, what he wanted to do. Fred created a television show for children. He remembered all of the people who had helped him as he was growing up. He thought of his neighbor, Mama Belle Frampton, who was always glad to see him. 
He wanted to share that good feeling with everyone everywhere. Fred wrote a happy welcoming song to sing at the beginning of each show. He called his program Mr. Rogers Neighborhood and he called the people who watched it his neighbors. First, Fred felt shy to be in front of the camera, but he found out that his grandpa was right. Just by being himself, Fred made his show special. Fred told stories with puppets. He played music that he wrote. He invited helpers to show what they liked to do or explained how things worked. Fred took his television camera to visit a farmer who had milk cows. He asked a friend to show how people dig with big machines. Another helper played the cello, and another shared how to cook. Fred explained to his neighbors that feelings were important. You could talk about them, or you could show your feelings in other ways. If you were mad, you could pound clay or run fast. If you were sad, you could sing a song soft and low. If you were happy, you could dance. Fred helped people learn to like themselves. He helped them to be good neighbors. Fred never forgot how his grandpa made him feel. Over and over, he would look right into the camera and pass along the important words that changed his life. You've made this day a special day by just your being you. There's no person in the whole world like you, and I like you just the way you are. And that's the end of the story. I hope you guys liked it. I miss you all so much, and I can't wait to see you guys again.